Hi Leos, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your mid-July to end of July 2017 reading. I greatly appreciate everyone for stopping by for all of your likes, subscribes, shares, comments, donations, and feedback about how these energies have been amazingly accurate and have been occurring in your life path. Um, that really, the feedback helps for me to um, stay positive and to continue to try this translation of these energies, which is very difficult for all of us. I know we never all speak of each other very often, uh, you know, all of us empaths and astrologers and whoever, but we are all connected in some way. So we know that there's an automatic understanding and well-being be amongst and between us all because of what's involved with uh, pulling energies. All right, so... <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Married to Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue, and this is going to be a card that just represents a word of prayer that I like to have at the end of the reading. So, dear Lord, spirit guides, and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Leo with clearly defined messages regarding Leo's life path from now in the middle of July to the end of July 2017. Thank you. All right, and I'm going to pull some cards from the... Wisdom of the House of Night deck. Okay, this is by P.C. Cast and Colette Baron Reed. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sign, sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Leo with clearly defined messages. Let's start out with career and finance, please. But if you have any other general energies that need to be expressed at this time, please do so. Thank you. All right. You guys are on the move with the movement card, and some of you are actually at the precipice of taking some sort of risk. Woohoo! This sounds interesting. All right, so again, this is the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, and I'm going to combine it with the Rider Waite deck so we can have uh, more clarification of with each step as we go through this reading before us. Dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless those born under the Sun sign, Moon sign, or Rising sign of Leo with clearly defined messages regarding their life path career and finance in general, mid-July to the end of July 2017. <clears throat> okay, so movement. Creating boundaries for yourselves, being fair and just, but declaring what or who you will allow into your life path. Some of you would like to take a risk with regards to a higher position maybe, or an investment. Hmm. In your thoughts position, some of you aren't sure what to do about this investment or this risk. You're kind of being held in the dark and are unsure about money, going back and forth, back and forth about money. <clears throat> In your foundation, Spirit's asking that you listen to not what's being said, but what's not being said, okay? If that made sense. Seven of Swords. Listen to what's not being said about someone who is not being honest. In the recent past, there were differences. And through the differences of some sort of connection or experience, you learned a lot about yourself, some of you, not all of you, and are eager to step confidently into a new portal, into a new world where you're learning more about yourself, where you're achieving more because you're setting your goals and you're verbalizing what it is you want. <clears throat> and that, therefore, is going to help get you into position that you're willing to take a risk to see if you can accomplish in the next uh, two to three weeks, we have chaos and upset. All right, so something happened here. All right, Leos, I don't know if some of you were dealing with an air sign and an earth sign. because We've got two queens here. We've got a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini with the movement. And we've got a risk with money or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And some of you are trying to make a decision because you're not sure what's the best choice and you're trying to listen clearly about how to maybe figure out 
how someone could or could not fit into your path moving forward, but there's chaos coming from all this. This new path didn't turn out to be as fun as it looked, I think, at first, until this risk came along. Now, in the next four to six weeks, Spirit's trying to tell you that something may be very, very beautiful and attractive to you, but that beauty is only skin deep. You need to look closely to figure out if somebody is being a magician. If someone is giving you a magic show, but yet they're behaving differently behind the curtain. Uh, someone outside of your path, well, you're trying to understand them. They're trying to understand you. And you're getting to a point, some of you, not all of you, where you're just getting pretty darn ticked off and tired of trying to, and maybe you're coming to an understand that this person or this situation that you've been focusing on is rather chaotic. And in your hopes and fears, you're probably fearing that you're trapped. But that is a figment of your imagination. None of us are trapped. We can connect out to others, try to find direction. And it looks like you guys, if you hope hard enough, you will manifest the right messages that you need to get the answers. And again, it's lined up with listening. So getting the answers you need maybe from spirit at this time. Listening and focusing on what's transpiring by kicking back and watching someone and just really going within to try and understand the situation. Now someone outside of your path, uh, no, I'm sorry, that's in your outcome position is an oath. Some of you are gonna be making an oath to yourself with regards to love. From now on, before I let someone in my path, I'm going to make sure that I can trust them, that they are not manipulative, that they are offering their true heart and that we have a deep connection. If this is a financial <clears throat> reading, I believe that somebody is going to be very sharp with their words about something that needs to be changed and that maybe some of you are going to take a risk and create an offer or an opportunity because you're going to be listening to uh, things around you and what's transpiring, trying to find clarity through all the chaos. And at some point, you guys might pinpoint something that, yeah, might have somebody might have presented themselves as true and fair and honest at work, but they're not. And you're going to be clear with that. You're going to clarify and get that clear with others by verbally communicating and freeing yourself from a situation. Again, an offer is going to come in. You're taking an oath of what you will or will not accept or allow with regards to finances or career. But if this has to do with a person, there are also things you want to avoid that you've already learned and learned on your path. The card overlooking the entire read is the focus card. So you guys are putting a lot of energy into telling something or someone in your path goodbye. It's over. It's done. It's spilt. It's in the sand. It's time to realize that Spirit gave you this card to show you, to give you evidence that there's two cups already waiting before you, not just one. Somebody's waiting there with you, waiting for you on this new path. And these cups are overflowing with peace, joy, abundance, prosperity, and love. So meditate. Spirit's saying, if you meditate, you will affect your karma and get things to move in your favor because spirit will know exactly what it is you're trying to manifest because we're all individuals. Spirit just wants to know what it is you try to manifest. And this is all about based on your own individuality, not being affected by what others have to say about a situation. In the next three to six months, some of you are summoning in a beautiful life with someone where there's plenty of money and family and kids and visitors and beautiful surroundings and you will find fulfillment but <clears throat> for some of you be very careful what you wish for because when you finally receive the fulfillment you may things may be getting a little cloudy and you'll go into a position of sadness where you feel like you have to defend yourself or that someone starts to treat you unkindly. So it's or un, in an unkind manner. It's important for everybody to realize that you're exposed to people and situations so that you can learn what it is for now on on your path that you're going to avoid and steer yourself away from. Spirit can only help you so much, but we have to make the final choice about who's allowed in our path and who is not, okay? Um, so let me take a moment here. I am going to pull a card from the 
Oracle of Shadows and Light deck by Lucy Cavendish. So, dear Lord, Spirit, guides, and angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Leo with regards to messages they need to hear for mid-July to the end of July 2017. Leos. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're receiving number 17, which tells me 1 plus 7 is 8. In about 8 weeks, some of you are going to have clarity as to whether or not somebody is meant to be on your path or not. This is the Strangely Lonely card, and it speaks of holding on way too tight to something or someone. This sweet defiant being holds fast to her Celtic cross, clutching her belief system, because without it, she's not sure who she truly is. Perhaps it was given to her by a beloved. Perhaps it represents her family, a loved one, or aspects of her soul. But the reason she holds on so tight is that she's lonely and has yet no one uh, has yet to connect with her soul family on a day-to-day -day basis. There are times in your life when you too may be surrounded by people, even those who you call friends, but you still feel extremely extremely lonely amid it all as she does you may feel like you need a barrier between yourself and the world as she does and there is a sense that you feel too strongly in your individuality and that you are lonely as she is too you're holding too tightly to something that is proving to be a barrier between you and others which is why you feel so alone at times at present, you may need to open up just a little bit and admit that you crave like-minded people around you. This does not mean those who do the same things for a living as you. It means people who speak to your soul. You're craving metaphysical and mysterious discussions, and you've got some questions that truly need answers or at least an explanation. It's time to consult oracles, the ones that we find when we seek out our friends who tell us what they see and not what they think we wish to hear. And what you're likely to hear is that you must let some Something go. All right, I'm going to ask for more messages, though I'm going in to get into a little bit more of romance energy for those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of cancer, dear Lord, spirit guides, and angels. Did we already do this? Leos. That's why I confused myself. I apologize. I just did cancer. Leo's thoughts, feelings, emotion, or no, Leo's love energies now into the future, please. Spirit, please bless us with clearly defined messages regarding Leo's love energies mid-July to the end of July. Wow. Okay, so some Leos are involved in a situation that includes marriage. And that's being crossed by as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So someone's thinking about love and marriage, getting to know someone, deepening their bond with someone. And I'm going to clarify with the Rider Waite deck next. I didn't know if I said, but this is the Dorian Virtue Romance Angel deck. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So some of you might be thinking about whether or not someone is married because they're not opening up. There's that clarity. And then getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves, you can deepen a bond. But some of you or someone else is having a hard time letting go of the way things used to be. They need to understand or you need to understand that in every moment the past crumbles behind us, but we're luckily blessed with our memories. So we can learn from the past and build something in our future that's much better. And always climb higher on our spiritual level because of these this spiritual knowledge we experience now in your thoughts position staying optimistic about your love life you have positive thoughts and know that you have the energies also of the strength card to maintain positive thoughts no matter what transpires here in your foundation maybe some of you have already learned that someone was married and you're trying to release and heal the past so you can experience more love now moving forward spirits say and make a wish hope and a prayer to them regarding a wish of love because you've worked hard in some position or in your past and they want to bless you with an opportunity. In the recent past, finances may have been an issue in your love life along with false promises. Maybe false promises were being offered to you at work and finances and it was taking up your time and your thoughts. For some of you, not all of you, in the next couple few weeks we have you connecting to friends like me 
checking out to see whether or not you should head out on a new direction and take a risk. Well, in the next four to six weeks, you guys have control over figuring out whether or not some connection is the romance of a lifetime. Spirit is suggesting, suggesting that you use the uh, Queen of Cups energies to connect with your intuition as you get to know each other about why someone might be closed off. Think positively and remain strong that you or someone may just be going through a forgiveness thing and you need to heal that or they need to heal that in order to move forward to connect with others anew. Um, someone outside of your path is this new love person. And if some of you feel like you're putting too much energy into this new love, then you may want to reconsider starting a new path and having discussions with friends and putting that person in the friend zone until you can get clarity. In your hopes and fears position, you're maybe fearing that you see the situation differently than someone else and maybe are hoping that there will be some sort of discussion so you can receive clarity. In your outcome position, you some of you want to open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, in hopes that there will be bal balance and fairness and understanding, maybe even an offer uh, in regards to... A romantic proposal. So the card overlooking the entire read does speak for some of you that there is someone coming into your path that you feel like you've met before or you know maybe even has been from a past life relationship and some of you are eager to take a step forward in your train plane or automobile and connect with someone. Heck maybe on your bicycle. Um, in the next four to six, uh, three to six months, Spirit saying some of you will be giving birth to a love life that's ascending to a new level of commitment. That could be having a child together, getting married, moving into a new house. The card over the the three card reading to my left that represents the entire read. It's a bit of a summary. It's speaking of in the first week and a half or so. Some of you looking back to try and figure out if you should give something from the past another try that has been uh, harmful to you and whether or not it's time to finally move forward. It is a difficult choice for some of you, so get clear before making that choice. Take off the blindfold, set things in motion, take some steps if you have to to communicate with this person to finally realize that they're not accepting love and that indeed you are in a situation of heartache. But move forward because Spirit's saying in the next couple few weeks there's going to be all kinds of passion and lust and love and great thoughts and connections. But... Um, you're going to be caught up with the hermit energy. So you're going to be spiritually transforming, trying to decide, is this love and passion healthy for my mind frame or should I focus more on my independence? Some of you will reach out to others and receive messages uh, back, but a lot of you it'll be with regards to a new creative project or a place of business. So get very organized and logical and structured and leave what hasn't been working with regards to love behind for a while. Just use the energies of the high priestess to pray to spirit for answers and guidance. If person just comes and goes, then you have to decide if this is going to be fulfilling enough um, to create a future together with or about. Yeah, spirit's here to help some of you make a decision about someone from your past. They're going to help for you to make the right choices. Eventually, I think some of you are going to walk away and go find your happily ever after. Some of you have to put an end to something in order for the wheel to start moving in your favor. And when it does, some of you are going to manifest a beautiful outcome with regards to finances. Yeah, a little painful in love for some of you Leos. If you're in a relationship, I think you're doing fine. I think there's a lot of love. If you're dating, it might be a little bit of a rough spot. So focus on career and finances. In the next four to six weeks, you guys will find that you're feeling like the sun, getting a lot of attention recognition, feeling like a kid again, because an offer is coming in and it may be very passionate or it just may be that you're opening yourself up to an opportunity and somebody else may be a little bit jealous. But don't get up in your head. Remember, stand strong in your own path until you have clarity before moving forward. I'm really feeling that with regards to uh, finances and career too. So... Something's going to come up, an idea, an offer, um, a suggestion, uh, maybe even a new path with regards to finances that is going to take some time some to get clarity about. 
Love, uh, if you're single, free yourself from anything that has kept you too focused and start to get back into what fulfills you in life. I'm going to have uh, you guys think about a situation, a person, whatever it is you want to have answers about. And I'm going to uh, tell you this person or situation um, by saying what your thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives are going to be as you move into the, your environment of the next month and a half or so. So some of you guys are trying to be patient and have faith. Some of you guys are having to choose between two people or two job opportunities. Waiting to see which one develops out to be the best one for you. For some of you Leos, you have... A successful position in your thoughts or money opportunity and you're wondering if you should move forward on uh, with regards to that opportunity or if you should give something another chance in the past you've found yourself in this position you have tried hard with maybe a location that you're at right now and you're eager to start anew but you're not sure how you're going to move forward and the Hierophant saying just be patient you've come full circle where you're at it is time to move forward have faith and hope in the next couple few weeks, hope, wish, and pray on a wheel of fortune because the karma is moving in your favor. You have put a lot of energy in in the next four to six weeks. You're going to realize how far you have come and that you have now got yourself into a position where this new offer could very well be the best for you. Someone outside of your path sees your strength and in your hopes and fears in the future, some of you might allow someone to come back into your path. Remember, there's always the friend zone. And it's a safer place to leave people until you have more serious discussions about more serious emotions. It may be that some of you are giving a, a new opportunity, a chance to come in. And it seems like the perfect contract, the perfect client, the perfect situation or idea. And you're very, very focused on that in your outcome position. Again, thinking of this person or the situation, in a three-card summary to my left, we have you guys really trying to create a new opportunity with the Empress Energies. A new goal, new ideas, and these ideas are being blessed by Spirit and with Spirit's assistance because the Empress is a major arcana. So you're creating something, and I think somebody else is eager to jump on that path with you. But some of you know you have to put something to an end to start something new, and it might be a little bit scary. So if that applies to someone, there you go. Again, if you want a personal reading, I'm at josiek42 at gmail.com. The person you're thinking of or the situation is saying, be patient. Love will be coming in. But some of you need to be clear when you decide who it is that you want in your path, where your boundaries are going to be. Some of you guys might be interested in someone who's an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising, but are really focused on stepping into a new world path with regards to finances or career. In your foundation, some of you want to give something another chance because you know that where you're at might move you into a higher position with better pay if you stay where you are, but you're also thinking about moving forward. So you're going to have to use your intuition in the next couple few weeks as you're hoping and wishing and connecting to spirit. Figure out what exactly it is that you want and continue to pray about that over and over in your head. Each day, every moment is that you can remember to until it is actually before you. You may get an offer or two or three or four as soon as you start. If some of you are looking, now the time is the time to look because the offers are going to come in. But you might not be sure about which one you want to take. Um, if this is with regards to love and love comes in, remember how mature you are and make sure you see that whether someone accepts love or not, whether this is you or someone else, it's all a part of the path. It's, it's all about, it's not the person for you if there's a rejection. You're stronger and you're beyond that and spirit doesn't want to line you up with someone who's not on the same level spiritually. Someone outside of your path uh, has a lot of strength, and I think that's what draws you to them. And that's who you are connecting through with these messages. But I don't feel like anything is going to come clear immediately with regards to love and money. This is all about kind of preparing, thinking, using your intuition, hoping, 
and taking the steps to begin something new but to go slowly. But yet when someone comes in, this is like a strong support comes in and that makes you move quicker. So you might get excited about something or someone. All right, so hopes and fears. Should you give something a chance or should you move forward and sign a new contract? Definitely with regards to finances. Should you give a connection in the past a chance or sign or get into a new partnership? That might be something else. Are you opening your heart to someone who you're unsure of if you should give another chance to? I see a knight, a queen, and a queen. So some of you may be getting, receiving a love offer if you are a female from a male, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And if you are... A male, you may have to decide between an air sign and an earth sign. And the air sign is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the earth sign is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. In the outcome position, really having to make a decision but not wanting to make a decision. That could be with regards to finances and career. You guys are setting goals, trying to achieve new things. And again, I do see there's some kind of a holdup heartache, new goals, waiting on making a decision, not accepting an opportunity, being sad about an opportunity, trying to be clear about something, referring to things of the past before creating something new. So if some of you are trying to create something new with regards to business, it, it I just keep feeling it's going to take a little bit longer. It's going to take some offers and some other ideas and people aren't going to connect or agree on something right away. In the outcome position, you will decide finally to open your heart to an offer to take the steps and to let something fall apart. Even though this new path is a little scary because you're not sure what it is you're going to find on this path or how it's all going to turn out. But once you take a step into a new path, you'll be freeing yourself from that inner turmoil and fear. Okay, You'll be walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling. And a lot of what this reading is about is exactly that. Things have gone full circle. You have grown maturity-wise, experience and knowledge-wise, and now are ready to step into a new offer, to step into a new relationship. In another three-card uh, layout to my left here for a as a summary, and this is, I've got this at the head of the summary, above the sum, above the layout here. And this, I wanted to ask more about heartache. Heartache is about realizing that something is no longer providing things for you, that something is now missing, taking a new path and a new direction, connecting out to others and receiving messages, but being clear about what it is that you want moving forward. Getting through maybe some pain, working on setting things down and getting beyond the realization of everything that has transpired up until now. A lot of you maybe spending the next couple few weeks going through a spiritual transformation looking at the big picture of where you've been where you're headed to and how far you've come you will receive a lot of you for uh, recognition for a job well done well done and in your outcome position say the next four to six weeks even though I know this is only to the end of the month some of these energies go over there's going to be more fairness and equality and not more baloney and crap and false promises okay getting to the truth and that's what's going to bring this new business opportunity this new home this new love these new things because I think some of you are having to step into a position of leadership and say this is how things need to be done because I can see from standing over here that everything's falling apart and I have some ideas to offer if somebody would just listen all right, so uh, definitely a financial situation. Um, love, I feel, is good for those who are with people. Um, if you're not with someone, you're single, sit back a little bit. I just kind of uh, observe, but stay in touch with others. Let people slowly come in. No decisions need to be made right away. I think energies will start moving again, um, hopefully by mid-August. 
right around probably some of your birthdays, huh? So I pulled a card earlier for a word of prayer to close with from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. And you guys are receiving boundaries. So it's a really good time to create boundaries for yourself and make sure others understand them. I am clear and honest with others about my expectations. So as long as people understand where your boundaries are and what you will and will not accept, things are going to turn out very, very well for you because people will see that as a good inner strength and be able to feel as though you are a very supportive part of a team or project. As far as love, I think someone's enjoying being in a team with you. And as far as getting to know you, you know, you're pretty darn special, you guys. Make sure that you let someone in your path who deserves to be in your path, who is worthy of your love in mid to end July 2017. Thank you again for coming to me for your read. I hope to see you again in August 2017. Take care and God bless.